Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Natalie Caitlin and my channel name is The Stylish Man. I post medicine, productivity and lifestyle videos. Today I'm catering for medical students with a new series that will run over my channel over the next couple of weeks. In this series I'll be sharing books, resources and everything you need for your clinical years. I've divided this into a series of five videos. Books and resources you need for internal medicine, surgery, pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology and finally um, a combination of books and resources you need for just your clinical years in general. So the purpose of this series is basically to share all the useful books, resources and guides that you will find very useful and that will make your life easier in medicine as you go through your clinical years, which is basically the time that you do medicine, surgery, peds and ops and gynae. I trust that you'll find these videos very useful and that you will share with your classmates, friends, family and everyone you know who's studying medicine that it can make their lives easier in medicine too. If you missed my previous two videos where I talked about books and resources you need for internal medicine and then books and resources you need for surgery, I will leave those links in this video at the end of the video and also in the description box so that you guys see them. resources I use for pediatrics. Pediatrics is where you will deal with all the diseases that affect children and babies and neonates and all of that fun stuff. So the first book that I'll talk about is Nelson's textbook of pediatrics. Now if you're no matter where you're studying I think you probably know about this book or you've heard or you've heard someone talk about it. Nelson's textbook of pediatrics is a very detailed, very dense, very um, information filled book and it's, it kind of reminds me of Harrison's for medicine. So like Nelson I think is, Nelson's textbook of peds is I think is the Harrison of peds basically and so this book can be a little overwhelming sometimes especially if you're just not particularly feeling like studying anyway and then you have to sit down and read so much information. Um, so I typically use this one when there's something that I can't find or I don't particularly understand something too well and I need something that really explains stuff, I'll go to Nelson's textbook of pediatrics. The next book I'll talk about is Pediatrics at Eight Lines. This one has all the information you need but it's much more simple and easier to understand. It's like the Kumar and Clark or the Davidsons of medicine. It has pictures unlike Nelson's. It has um, it has pictures and tables and illustrations and things that make it easier to understand. If you're a visual learner, then pediatrics at a glance is a better option for you than Nelson because Nelson is just basically information overload. The next book I'll talk about is Pediatrics Lecture Notes by Simon Newell and Jonathan Darling. This book is my favorite for peds. Um, I find it simple and easy to understand and it makes everything so easy and just everything just flows and the diagrams and the illustrations and the tables there are quite useful and they do have like summary tables, summary diagrams and things that explain the information but in a visual way and so if you're a person who does like digital note taking this book is perfect for you to actually just grab the table and add to your notes and um, it's it makes everything easier to understand because you have it in like a visual form rather than just reading it as text. Mm -hmm. Next book I'll talk about is Kaplan's Lecture Notes for Pediatrics. This one also has all the information that you need for peds and it's more summarized and more um, uh, just like when you finish reading from another textbook and then you go to this one so you get a more summarized version of the information. The last textbook that I use for pediatrics is the illustrated textbook of pediatrics. A lot of people like to use this book. It's quite good. It's got the information. It's quite up to date. Um, I find that it's easy to understand as well and it's not boring to read as um, some textbooks can be but I don't find it as interesting to read as peas at a glance or as lecture notes by Simon Newell and Jonathan Darling. So these are the textbooks that I use for my pediatrics rotation. And so for the test books, revision and um, you know, revising kind of books, my favorite one for peds is Core Clinical Cases Pediatrics. This has cases um, for pediatrics and then it lays them out in a way that you have a step-to-step -step approach to the case as that makes it easier to understand you can get to analyze the case from top to bottom and understand it in full and just like for internal medicine and surgery i also use pre-test 
pediatrics as well as deja review for pediatrics i love deja review series because it's got a variety of cases from simple to more complicated to most complicated and you can use this on the go if you're not particularly looking to do like a detailed case analysis you just have like questions just to quiz your knowledge in pediatrics then it's perfect and then pre-test you get to do your um, questions that are clinical as well as just theoretical and so that's perfect for that as well then the last test book that i use in pediatrics is clinical cases uncovered in pediatrics and this just basically has clinical cases that you get to look at and um, analyze and uh, you get to look at the principles of treatment the diagnosis management um, and everything important about the cases. These are the textbooks and the test books that I use for pediatrics. I hope that you found this video useful. Please leave a like, leave a comment, let me know which one your favorite book is. Let me know which one you're excited to use, which one you've never heard of before. If there are any that I haven't mentioned, please do let me know in the comment section. For pediatrics, I don't really like to use that many books because I find that the information can tend to be overwhelming and pediatrics is quite a simple course on its own and some books tend to make it more complicated than it really is so i like to keep it simple with my peds books and keep them minimum as well because i don't particularly like peds and so yeah uh yeah subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss another video from me in this series and i will see you in the next one